Hey guys, Daddy here. Because a lot of you wanted to see a striker video, unlike how to striker, here it is. So the biggest thing is this martial spirit. Uh, it's like, wow, plus 50% movement speed, but it drains so fast. Well, for some reason, there's a glitch where if you hit tab, it activates it without the drain. So, boom, suddenly you get the movement speed buff, and it doesn't drain. So, I'm sure they should fix it fairly soon. But, that's that. Okay. So, start at the top, and then go, let's go down. So, a flash step, silent step, fist of true strength. Uh, the steps are your dodges. So, you can dodge like that. And then, fist of true strength is like a follow-up to a sprint or a flash step. Uh, Tayback Kick, I just have locked because I dislike it. Crouching Wolf, I recommend having this up at all times because it is a 10% attack speed buff. 20% if you use it after you have three of these shards. Uh, Triple Flying Kick, I only use it as the movement speed buff initiator. Uh, I'm sure you could use it more effectively than that. Uh, Adamantine, I never really use. Hidden Claw, I have locked. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. And then Crimson Fang and all the flow skills are a really fun combo. Because it just goes forever. So you do the punches and then the kicks, which chain into the punches, into the kicks. Which chain into the punches, into the kicks. And you can see how this can just go forever. It's an infinite loop. Uh, I tend to mess up after like a minute because, I don't know, my mind wanders. But I'm sure if you ever get halfway decent at this class, uh, much better than I am, then you'll be able to do it pretty much forever. Uh, Fist Fury, really nice skill. It's an HP regen skill. So as you can see though right now, it's actually draining MP. But... If you consume the 30 Spirit Shards with Crouching Wolf, you get the Crouching Wolf buff for 30 seconds, which makes it so that this skill actually regenerates the SP too. So wow, you have a skill that has infinite SP, no cooldown, and regenerates HP. Uh, so that becomes a very good skill. It also has some CC components on the final hit and third hit. So it's a very nice skill. Uh, Wolf's Hunger, it's a nice skill while grinding. Uh, Shift F, you see that it attacks a different target each time, so it's fairly bad against bosses and stuff like that. Uh, Knee Hammer, Rock Smash, Tornado Kick, and Stalking Wolf, uh, this is probably my most damaging combo. Uh, it also has a Frontal Guard and Super Armor, so it's very nice to do fairly fast. Short enough cooldowns, they're like four seconds. So, you know, knee hammer, and you can knee hammer spam, which is actually why I have that uh, hidden claw locked. So, this way I can just hold shift and left mouse button and just have a block all the time. Uh, now, yeah, you know, the combo, you can shake it up a little bit, you can do. The flying kicks, if you don't want to do the tornado kicks. And then after this, you can go right into those elbows and punched kick combos that I talked about earlier with with Crimson Fang. Uh, somersault and Twisted Collision along with Rising Blast and all of the fun skills with Rising, with, twisted, with Twisted Collision. Uh, next up is Somersault, Rising Blast Combo, Twisted Collision, and Fatal Smash, and all the fun flows. Uh, so, something that I found that you can do is just the Rising Blast Combo into Twisted Collision, into Rising Blast Combo, into Twisted Collision. And you can just keep doing this. Just make sure to alternate 
which twisted collision skill you're doing. It's decently damaging and fairly easy to pull off. Uh, I don't really like any of these bottom skills. This is a nice toggled block, basically, uh, because it's forward guard while using the skill. That includes while charging it. So if you just hold the charge, then you're blocking. It's not quite as good as just like tapping Q to be able to block, but we'll take what we can get. Uh, this, at max rank, Rage Hammer, 11 chances to knock down an opponent. That's pretty good. Uh, Roaring Tiger, I, I'd see it mostly as a heal, because 300 HP every 5 seconds is nice enough. A uh, Sweeping Kick, I mean, you can just leave it at rank 1, because it never increases the amount of hits, and I think you would mostly just use this to sweep the leg as a knockdown. Uh, and then, lastly, but not least, the grapples. These are mostly useless in PvE, pretty good in PvP, like all grapples. Uh, so that should go over everything. You know, just to recap, dodges. Uh, Crouching Wolf, use that for attack speed buff. Uh, I have this locked for the knee combo. The infinite crimson fang combos. Fist Fury uh, can regen HP. And if you have the crouching wolf buff, you know, regenerates SP as well. A uh, knee hammer spam can be a constant block. Uh, somersault and twisted collision just chain really nicely together. As a knockdown, that's a heal. That's almost a toggled block. And this is a nice knockdown. Uh, passives are DP. By no means, like, get these immediately. Uh, of course, get the HP and get the AP as you can. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.